These lads have, it's not a one-off that, they've been playing well over the Six Nations period and gaining some valuable game time and um, now we've got some good young players coming through. It's the right thing to change things, uh, freshen things up and uh, delighted for those younger lads but also the experienced lads as well. Given you know the, the end result was pretty comprehensive on the scoreboard, it was pretty comfortable on the scoreboard but you conceded the first draft to just four minutes, what was going through your mind right then? Uh, it was it was early days and we weren't panicking. Um, it was disappointing to concede like that, but um, you know we knew there was still lots of time to come back into it. So it was just a case of making sure we didn't panic, didn't do things which we hadn't talked about, how we hadn't trained. So we just kept to our systems. We had a really good training this week. The lads have been enthusiastic. They brought real energy to the training, and I think we saw that reflected in the performance. You sit up alongside Alex King and Dorian West up in the up in the gods here at the AJ Bell Stadium. I bet both of them were pairing come half time. Yeah. De Definitely, and um, you know Nobby with, with the forwards display, which is fantastic. You know, real good dr dr driving mall, and uh, I think we scrummed well as well. We've got some young lads in that, particular, you know, Ethan Waller, um, you know, very, very, very young. But what a great game he had! But combine that with Ross McMillan, who's a little bit older, more experienced, but he's not played massively for the first team, and uh, no, very, very pleased for him. And the, the third try as well for Ben Foden was was right out of the top draw. Yeah, really good. Um, I think you know, looked like we we're going to kick from from. The, from the line out, Lee Dixon, great decision making. I think Fats took it down the right hand side, or was it Ken? No, Ken, I think. Little chip over the top, win quick rook ball, and then the little slider through to score the try. So, um, e excellent all round try. When, um, just going back to the, the first try um, for a second, you know, when you've got such senior players in there like Phil Dowson and Lee Dixon, you, you know, you both uh, talked about them tonight. What are you looking for from them in terms of to get the side back onto an even keel and to get back up the other end and scoring? I think it's just that they know what we want and the systems and it's just them calling it and not panicking and trying to do things which we haven't talked about or, or, or which is off script and uh, I think they're very good at that. I think Lee Dixon had a you know, tremendous game. It was wet out there, it's not easy conditions and so you don't have to overplay and I think we learnt our lessons. You know, Two weeks ago we went behind, we had to play, we had to keep ball in hand instead of taking uh, our opportunities. Will Greenwood was talking in commentary on Sky tonight that there hasn't been any crisis at Saints over the past three weeks praising the, the, the performances of the teams that they've played against over the last three weeks. But how important is it to, to snap out of a losing streak and get a, to get a win like that at a place like this? I think it's really important. You know, nobody ever wants to lose, and when you lose a couple on the bounce, that really puts the pressure on the team, and um, you know, p people start doubting you there. But we've never had any doubts. Um, as you say, the teams we've played against have played well. We've not played as well as we possibly can, we know that, but hopefully we have um, you know, developed and, and, and learned some lessons from that. You always have to do that. Um, so no, we're, we're, we're sort of happy that we've got that win today. It puts us back on track, and now we can look forward to a week on Sunday with, with a massive game against Saracens. Sometimes when you've got youngsters on the bench, uh, or when teams have got youngsters on the bench, they'll put them on a couple of minutes before the end, give them an appearance under the belt. You gave Danny Hobbs, Awiyemi, and Matt Williams a good quarter hour tonight. They, you know, they both got stuck in lots of scrums. You know, how? What are you looking for when you when you put those guys on that early? What we're looking for is just them to build their experience and, um, and, and, and time will do that. And uh, we, we know that they've both got uh, things to work on, but you know, they're both players with lots and lots of potential, both of them, and uh, delighted with the way Hobbsy came on and uh, you know, he really looked lively. And we know what Matt Williams can do, you know, he, he's a tremendous asset and um, two good players there and, and their future looks bright for the Saints. Saracen's away a week on Sunday, but you know, before that, Time to reflect and do, well, time to look ahead almost to the, to the Challenge Cup semi-final, which will be in a few weeks' time against Stad or Harlequins, who play Friday night. Does it matter who you play? No, it doesn't. It, do, it doesn't matter at all. So I think we can enjoy our weekend and watch them play and uh, see who gets through. I think uh, I think a lot of the fans would would like to to play Stad. You know, it's something different. You don't know too many of the players. Um, so we, we'll we'll see how that comes. But you know, delighted with the team. You know, to get a home semi is is a massive massive boost for the club. You know, it's a second home semi we've already got this season. So we're certainly going in the right direction.